kindergarten boys and girls, are we ready for this week's art class? So last week we talked about texture and we made different kinds of monsters using different patterns and lines to create different kinds of texture, the stuff that you can feel on your monster. This week we're going to be talking about Katherine Rayner. Katherine Rayner not only drew the pictures for her books, but she also wrote them. She has this famous book called Harris Finds His Feet and it's all about this bunny and I thought since it's springtime we should be drawing bunnies in the style of Katherine Rayner. We're going to be using interesting lines and if you have watercolors at home then you're going to be able to use the watercolors to make this beautiful brown bunny in the style of Katherine Rayner. Are we ready to get started? Let's go! So we're going to start off with our Katherine Rayner bunnies and so her bunnies had very long ears and very little faces so we're going to start with the face. We're going to take our sharpie, we're going to make a rainbow, then we're going to come out, around, like we want to make a circle and come back up. Next we want to draw the eyes. And so the eyes is just a circle here and a circle here. We can give them the pupils. Now it's looking at us. The next thing we need to do is draw our nose for our bunny. So our bunny has a V in the middle of its face and then we're going to draw a line coming down and then one coming out like a smile and then another coming out like the other smile. So this part kind of looks like two U's, two little smiles. Now we want to draw the ears of our bunny. So our ears of our bunny, we're going to start with one right in the middle of our forehead. I'm going to do a curve line to the corner of my page. Then I'm going to take that curved line and draw it back down to connect to my bunny. And I want to do the same thing on the inside. So another line on the inside of, of this leaf shape. I'm going to draw one going in and one coming back. Because this is the outside of my ear and then this part would inside of my ear. Now I want to do the same thing on the other side. Draw a curved line going to the corner and then another curved line coming down and then another curved line on the inside and then bring that curved line back to touch our head. And now we have our bunny's ears. Last, we want to draw the body of our bunny. Since our bunny is very close to the bottom of our page, we just want to give it some shoulders and there we go. Don't forget to sign your name at the bottom in the corner. Now look at our Katherine Rayner inspired bunny. Now comes the fun part, the watercolors. So we're going to take our paintbrush, dip it in our water, pat, pat, pat the extra off, and then we're going to go into our brown because our bunny is going to be a nice chocolate brown. So I'm going to pat, 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 my brush into the palette until I have brown on my paintbrush. And then I want to go in and start to paint my bunny. So I'm staying inside of my lines, painting my bunny as best I can. So I'm all out of paint, dip it in the water, pat it in my palette, pat, 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 and then start to paint my bunny. Dip it again. Pat, pat, pat. Now I'm ready to move on to the body. Dip it in my water. Pat, 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 pat in my palette. Dip it in my water. Pat, pat, pat in my palette. Dip it in my water, pat, pat, pat in my palette. I'm going to go and just do the outside of my bunny ears. Just this part, not the inside, because we want to do that one a different color. Just the outside, so careful while you paint. Pat, pat, pat. Dip it in my water. Pat, pat, pat. So 
So for the inside of our bunny ears, Katherine Rayner liked to use a lot of oranges and yellows in her bunnies instead of pink. We're gonna make this a nice yellow or an orange. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush, dip it in my water and shake it to get all the brown paint off. Tap, tap, tap the extra water and dip it in orangey yellow that I have. So pat, 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 and start to color. Dip it in my water, pat, pat, pat. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So dip it in my water, pat, pat. Now that my bunny is starting to look super adorable, I can add extra brown paint where I want some. Maybe I want to make certain parts of him darker. So I'm gonna dip it in my brown paint and I'm just going over the edges of my bunny. So now that I have the edges done, I'm also gonna go over my lines where his nose is. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water into my brown paint, and it's like I'm tracing. So now that I've let my bunny dry a little bit, I can pick a color to color the background. And I'm just gonna color all the background. I'm being super careful when I get close to my bunny so that I don't get blue paint all over the place. And there you have it, kindergarten. We have a beautiful Katherine Rayner inspired bunny with a beautiful watercolor background. I hope you had fun doing this project. I know I did. I can't wait to see all your beautiful bunnies just in time for spring. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, happy creating.